Hello everybody, it's Cobalt here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have some new customs going up on my eBay shop to show you guys. I have seven new customs, but of course, as always, we're going to start off with the older customs from previous videos. So let's go ahead and do that. So I still have four leftover customs. We have these two guys, which are still left over from LPS Con. They are very, very sad and do not want to be trapped in these bags anymore. And then we also have these guys, which were just from the most previous video. We have this little grape puppy and this cat and the prices on all of these guys have been lowered since last time i showed you now for the first of the new customs that i have to show you it is this guy i am super super excited about this custom i just think that it turned out so cool and unique and i absolutely love it so this is my arctic werewolf which is what i'm calling it it is a head swap between a bat head and a siberian husky body the people who make the fake lps bases recently released the siberian husky lps and i'm super excited about that so you're actually going to be seeing that one used a lot in this video but actually mostly their bodies for some reason i just decided to use their bodies a lot even though i prefer the heads but anyways i'm rambling with this custom i sculpted this little tuft of hair here the rest of the hair is from the original base i sculpted this little piece of fluff on both sides as well as the fluff on the cheeks and then of course i sculpted this big fluffy tail this one's head is also a bit weird as you can see it's not bobbling right now you can sort of loosen it and it comes up a little bit but it looks a bit weird in my opinion so i kind of just have it adjusted like this i just think this custom Custom is so cool. It turned out exactly how I wanted. I absolutely love its eyes. They're so shiny and reflective. I've never painted white eyelashes on a custom before, so I wanted to try that with this one. And I love the little tooth that the bat mold has. And I love the colors on this guy as well. I just keep saying how much I love it, but that's really all I have to say about this custom. So next up, we have a partial custom. It wasn't in the greatest condition, so I decided to just partially customize it instead of keeping it in my collection or just recustomizing the entire thing. So this is what it originally looked like. It is one of the fake LP made to look like that one glittery short hair cat and then of course I repainted her eyes I added a couple little extra details so the whites inside the ears I painted some light pink here on the face the eyebrows tips of the ears there's a little heart on her cheek and some other little details on the body and the back and the tail I just wanted to keep with a the theme that it already has but add some more little areas of interest the eyes are pretty simple but I added these little glittery stars in them and I think that this custom is just super super cute and she is very very tiny and I love her next up we have another head swap custom. This is going to be a very common theme that you will see throughout the customs in this video, but this is a fox head on a cocker spaniel body. So it's a fox spaniel. This head swap idea was inspired by Willis Panda Cafe over on Instagram. She does so many customs with this head swap and they all look so cool. So I was like, okay, I have to try that out. So I did it on this girl here. The only thing that I sculpted on her was the tail. I'm very, very happy with the way the tail came out. I think it looked really cool. And I didn't really have any ideas going into this one. I I just decided to paint her teal and then as I was painting it the two teal colors mixed together sort of reminded me of like a ghost so I decided to stick with that theme and give her sort of like a ghoulish spirit look to her with her color palette and her design the stripes on the body kind of look like rib cages in my opinion and she just looks super cool and whimsical and she even has little skeletons in her eyes for the eye shines I know it's not Halloween anymore but it is never too late to make a Halloween custom like I said there's a lot of head swaps in this video so as you can see the next custom is another head swap and this is another head swap with a fox head and the body is from a golden retriever so for this one i actually ended up sculpting the tips of the ears to give them a more pointy shape and we'll show you a little comparison with the last one you can sort of see they're more pointy and i also sculpted the fluff on the side of the cheeks which i think looks absolutely adorable and I sculpted this one's tail as well. Again, I didn't really know what I was doing with this custom going into it, but I love the way that it turned out. I love this color palette. It really just reminds me of fall and it sort of has like a pumpkin spice autumn vibe to it or like cinnamon or something like that. It just looks like it would smell really nice or like taste really good. So for all the people who want to eat LPS, this one is for you. Yep. what did I tell you? Another head swap. I promise this is the last head swap in this video, but it's another head swap with the Siberian Husky mold that I was talking about. So as you can see, Siberian Husky body and a cocker spaniel head. I decided to base this one off of the design of this LPS collie. Don't remember the number off the top of my head, but it is the purple collie. I just think that one's design is super cool and I felt inspired to paint it on this LPS base. So pretty much exactly the same. I did end up adding like a little bit of purple shading in the fluff on the neck just because I thought it would help it stand out nicer and I think that she looks really cute that way. And honestly, I'm not really a fan of that collie, but I think that the design looks really, really cute on this LPS and I absolutely love 
the cocker spaniel head on this body. I think it looks so cute, even if the head does look a little bit massive. All right, guys, second to last custom. And this is another custom inspired by an LPS that already exists. It is inspired by this LPS kitten right here. And this custom was originally not going to be made at all or be part of this custom drop. But I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this post by this person. And they basically make a bunch of like edits of LPS where they take designs from other pets and put them on different molds. And they said that you can make them into customs if you're a customizer. So I saw this design and I thought it was so cute. So I rushed immediately to make this custom super fast because I already had this light orange and dark orange mixed and I thought they were perfect. So I was like, well, I cannot pass up this opportunity. I have to make this custom. And honestly, I wish this was a real LPS because she is, again, just so cute. I know I keep saying that, but... It is true, just look look at this face, look at those eyes, look at those colors, I absolutely love it. And now for the final custom of the video, we finally actually have a full Siberian Husky base used and not just the body. So this is another Hellhound custom. I sculpted the horns on this guy, as you can see, and his little eyebrows. Other than that, nothing else is sculpted. I love the way that these colors look together. I think they look so cool, especially like this brighter salmon color and the teal of the nose. I definitely want to use a palette like this on a future custom and give it some fancy eyes, sort of my dragon eye style that I've done on a few customs before. And it's got some really cool dark blue paws and a really cool bright teal nose. Nothing too crazy going on with this custom. I think the overall design is very simple, but it's also very striking and I love the way that it looks. And this base has a little bit of trouble standing up because his horns are so big, but I swear if you just position it correctly, it will actually stand up. Come on, come on. He's, he stands, I promise. Okay, well, just trust me, he can stand up, I swear. So anyways, guys, these are all the new customs that I have to show you in this video. I really love the way all these turned out. Also, if you haven't seen it already, I released a new LPS short film on my channel back in late October. So if you haven't checked that out already, please, please go watch it. I worked so hard on it, and I'm super, super proud of the way that it came out, and I think you guys would all really, really like it. And if you've already seen it, go watch it again, because it is good. Anyways, that is all I have to say for this video. Again, links to all these customs and my eBay shop as a whole will be down below in the description. If you want a custom for me, but you don't like any of these designs, you can also go and check out my Etsy shop where I have LPS custom commissions. So basically you can pay me to make whatever you want. So you can go check that out as well. Also linked in the description. Anyways, that is all I have to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.